Hello, and welcome to From Mike's Kitchen, where we ask the question, why just eat when you can manja penny? That same dish from the Pixar movie with the same name. Chef Remy makes a peasant dish that they serve to the food critic and he finds it so wonderful and vibrant and reminds him of his childhood. This is my version. Let's get started. Before we begin, I'd like to thank Vincent Sauce for being very generous and sending us several samples for us to cook with. Please go on vincentsauce.com and order yours today. In order to prepare for this recipe, I sliced the vegetables yesterday, put them on paper towels, season them, cover them with, with um, saran wrap, and place them in the refrigerator to draw out some of the moisture. If you had too much moisture in this dish, it just would make it very um, sloppy, and that's not what we're going for. We're going for a nice, elegant dish. So what we're gonna do now is unwrap all of our vegetables that we have, make layers, and we're gonna arrange them in our dish very nicely. We're gonna add some nice herbs. We have some thyme. We have some parsley. We have some chives. And we have some lemon zest. Last but not least, a little bit of Pecorino Romano and Parmesan cheese to add a little flavor. So to begin, we're going to take a piece of our eggplant, lay it down. We're going to take one of our tomatoes, lay that on top. We're going to take a slice of onion. Lay that on top. We're gonna take our yellow squash, the narrow zucchini, and then keep on building. Another layer of eggplant, and so forth. We're gonna build these all up, cut them, and then arrange them in our dish. Okay, now that we have all of our sandwiches made, it's our eggplant, our onion, our tomato, zucchini, our yellow squash, the thyme in between. All the vegetables were seasoned overnight, so we don't need any additional salt or pepper. All we're gonna do is take our dish and start assembling. We're gonna cut all these in half with our knife so that they sit flat and we can arrange them in our dish very nicely. So we're just going to take our knife, cut each one of these in half, so we can arrange them, put the flat side down so they don't curl. For this application, we're gonna take some of our Vincent sauce that we heated up, a little bit of red wine, some shallots, and some garlic. Put an immersion blender in there. Made it a nice sauce. We're gonna take some of our good olive oil. Start at the bottom of the plate. Put it in the bottom of the dish. Take some of our sauce. Well, we don't want it to be swimming, but we want it to have a nice coat in the bottom. More. So now we have a nice base for our ratatouille to sit in. Gonna teach each. 
we're gonna take each half, we're gonna put them on an angle, and align them in the dish, like so. Just stacking them up one behind each other. Just making for a nice presentation. Turn our dish to make it a little easier. And just proceed with that type of an application. Okay, well now let's make sure they all lie in the same direction. And there we have our dish. Really needs nothing more, but I'm gonna add more. Yes, I am. And I'm not gonna add sexy butter. I'm sorry, this is a dish that does not contain sexy butter. Once again, I apologize. But we do have Pecorino Romano, Parmigiano Reggiano. I know, this is a French dish. I'm adding a little Italian flair to it. That's what I want to do. We're just going to lightly dust the top of a ratatouille. I have a preheated oven for 350 degrees. Let's pop it in for a half hour. When it comes out, it should be delicious. Okay, we just pulled out our ratatouille out of the oven. It baked for 30 minutes at 350 degrees. As you can see, we have a nice crust on it. Just baked down a little bit. The vegetables still have a little bit of a crunch to them, but they're soft. We're gonna finish off the dish with some of our chives. A little bit of our parsley. Give it some nice greens. And little flakes of our lemon zest. To brighten the flavor. And there you have it. My version of Ratatouille from the movie Ratatouille. Thank you for watching. My name is Mike. This has been from Mike's Kitchen. Bonjour, Ben!